Hey guys, so this is journal number three from January 2018 onwards. Let's have a look what goodies are in store in this one. So we've got All About Me, again not filled in. A double celebration spread, not filled in. Bucket list, ride on a motorbike with some unicorns. It's probably about as possible considering my disabilities. Instagram tracker, so... By the looks of it, I reached 750 followers on Christmas Day. That's pretty awesome. Moving into some colourful pages. Okay, pet trackers. We've got the snake on this side, the dog on that side. Into some straw paint. You know where you put the blob of paint on and then you get a straw and you blow through it to make all the splats. That's what that is. Harry Potter already. I'm liking this one. Okay, I solemnly swear that I'm about to lose weight. So I presume we're about to go into some weight loss. Yep. So we've got the date here, the weight there. And then you colour the footsteps in for however much you lose. And then measurements or a fat chart. And then Slimming World recipe, uh, not recipes, free foods and things on that side. Okay, random tracker, uh, general tracker, not random. And then, as you can see, I've got some clear acetate here. So this would have been off a toy or a bit of packaging or something like that that I've rescued and repurposed. So that I have the months of the year down the side here, the dates of the month across, and then I can fill in whatever it is on whichever page to be able to put everything all into one tracker. Family time, so if we were to leave the house when we went and where we went, it's nice to look back and see what, what you did in the year, really. I just didn't fill it in, clearly. Money in and out, keeping track of bills. Okay, the year at the glance, 2018 celebrations and days out and all sorts of fun things. Happy New Year page. I tried that for your balloon writing, obviously not very well, but at least I gave it a go, I suppose. Okay, so this looks like to be a dashboard to me. So who I am, who I want to be, values, strengths and weaknesses, what I'm letting go of, resolutions. So it's kind of like a monthly, a, a year ahead look maybe. It's quite interesting. So we've got a calendar view of the month with some little stickers. I'm not sure how well you can see these little guys, but I printed them myself and cut them out and I thought they were super cute having a look at a weekly so we've got the days of the week across the top and then underneath is like a water tracker and then you put your food in this box here to-do list coming soon months at a glance and of course some disney doodles because why not sticking with a the frozen theme i see uh, we've got the explanations down this side for the colors so that this side here is pain and this side here is moods with all the snowflakes being colored in they're actually stuck on these, so I must have found some confetti or something, who knows. This is a lettering challenge. Uh, what does this say? We got... I haven't got anything here to explain who set it or anything, unfortunately, so I can't give you any information there. Habit tracker, in general. Weekly view again. Another weekly view. I quite like this. We've got the banners and the bunting clear days with water and food a month look i like boxes clear precise it's nice a monthly doodle challenge there into another look ahead with a to-do list i'm not quite keen on that one personally must have liked it at the time but not for now okay so this is a review page so looking forward hoping to change trying something new what i want more of favorites i like to do a bit of a monthly review it's nice to look back on why now for example memories of the month that weren't filled in oh okay so this is when i started in a dark place so I ended up wanting to do something about it. Being in this dark place makes you want to change. Um, otherwise you've got to accept defeat, which I wasn't in a position to do. I had a child. And so I wrote this into my bujo about understanding anxiety and understanding depression and signs and symptoms for general and then for also triggers signs and symptoms for me. Facts to remember, how to get your head around it a little bit more. Then this is a sheet I was given by my CBT therapist and it's something that I felt I should incorporate into my bujo 
write it all down because it actually really helped me and then when I was getting those thoughts I could go across maybe on a separate page somewhere if I didn't want to put it on this one which clearly I didn't and just fill it in and, and kind of make sense of what was going on in my head at the time and you know it says here it's all a balancing act and that's exactly what it is if you don't tackle it it becomes darker and more difficult to deal with Ooh, Harry Potter theme. I do love Harry Potter themes. So we've got here cutouts and printouts and stickers and all sorts of wonderfulness. TripAdvisor reviews painted on, like a bit of painted background. And then, oh, hang on, we've got a secret opening. What does this do? Oh, so this is drawn on. Clearly that's printed. I'm not quite sure. Oh, no, you're not supposed to unstick that. Clearly that's printed, but that's a really cute little doodle there on the back. So I think we might have a whole month of Harry Potter theme here. February title page, and yes we do. So there's a calendar look at February with two separate sleep trackers. Mustn't have had enough room to do one, so must have had to split it into two. So little bits of memory ticket things. Mood tracker into... So this is a weekly, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And it's obviously just the weekend because the month started on the first and that's just the way my head worked that it had to be separate so this one starts on the monday again and we've got does this open it does open and we have standards book of spells anybody need some lesson top up top ups and we've got some cutouts some bricks i'm loving this theming love potion theme on this particular page and i'm carrying on the harry potter font trying my best to anyway more stickers and stick-ins herbology class anybody we've got some potion stickers nice quote here and then i've got a page from one of the harry potter books itself now don't worry i didn't cut one up it was a damaged one that i actually rescued i do remember that and then another page from i think i went to the harry potter tour in london and we were given a book and that's what these some of these things are from cut out from that so a monthly doodle challenge for february oodles of doodles set that one sketch of dobby with another straw painting because why not okay so i'm guessing these were supposed to be free things to do free places to go trips and days out day trips and handwriting styles because it changes with the pen for some weird rate reason and we're looking into stars and lace perhaps let's have a look from march that's a lot of for the eyes i'm not quite sure what i was thinking on that one we'll just move past it and we have a pain and mood tracker and a normal monthly routine tracker as well general one disney journal not journal disney doodle challenge and we're looking into a bi-weekly two weeks on one page here and then a mind map so it's basically like a brain dump but a nicer way of saying it and you can put like your to-do lists and and whatever thoughts you've got going on straight onto that page okay so this this is a tattoo i designed i'm not quite sure if you can see on my wrist i designed this for my nana um and obviously it just needed to be in my journal at that particular page okay we've got a, another bi-weekly here that's really a lot going on right there we'll go past that as well dark pages here not quite sure what that was supposed to say and we've got review of the month what i was up to feelings currently and things and a disney themed april title page dashboard is morning afternoon and evening calendar instead of a uh, a, a calendar view goals and coming soon Ooh, just notice there's actual lyrics down here how sweet Okay, another bi-weekly spread, but this time we've got some nice clear boxes and some chocolate wrapper stuck in because, of course, why not? There's the tracker, a moving day. Awesome, I must have moved house. There's a timeline for moving. And then, ah yes, if you're moving house, always have a first night box. One box completely separate from everything that always has things like to uh, toilet roll, mugs, sugar, tea and coffee. Because trust me, you will not be able to find them when you want them and okay so i'm starting to try and do a food diary on this weekly packing list must have been going on holiday or something memories that's quite a nice page that's a shame that wasn't filled in i like that okay we're coming up with boxes i like clear boxes that's the kind of style i have now in 2023 summer bucket list i think memories bucket list i'm not quite sure what may the dreams of your future 
well, oh, may the dreams of your future be the reality of your past. Wasn't quite getting that then. And some flora and fauna drawings. Some sleep trackers, pain, mood. Very pretty. And we're moving into the weeklies. Lots of stickers. I remember buying adulting stickers, actually. They were really funny. I think they probably will start appearing in this Bujo by the looks of it. Buy a weekly spread down one page there and a holiday off to Portugal. Packing the case, what we got up to on the first day, ideas of things to do on the holiday. I'm guessing this is supposed to be for photos, it just never got filled in. I think that was a napkin off the plane actually. A doodle for hands, I must have been bored. Probably sat on the plane. Oh, what's this? Okay, so we have some butterfly drawings on that side and ways I can create an environment that attracts butterflies on that side. Oh, I'm going to have to have a read of that after. I'm interested in all of this now as well. So we've got back into a weekly spread, a monthly review. It's a nice little doodle that, I like that. Trying my hand at ribbon writing and clearly failing. So we'll turn the page into a plain, like a rose gold themed calendar and trackers that weren't finished, empty pages, things I'm looking forward to. Oh, what was that supposed to be, I wonder? Okay, so we're into really simple weeklies now. One week down the side, simple to-do list and coming soon. Really clear, really boring, must have been running out of time. Letter to myself. I'm not sure if you remember this from one of the other flick throughs, but when you're feeling really rubbish, sometimes it helps to write a letter and then some people burn them or put them in the bin, rip them up, stamp on them in dirt, whatever it is to make you feel better. I actually keep them. So in 20, 30 years, when I've got past all of those dark moments, I can go back, read the letter and remind myself what I survived and what I went through. It's just something that I, I'm not ready to look at that now, even though it's from 2016, 17, whenever it is. And one day though, you never know, maybe I will. And we're moving into July, which is my birthday month, hence all the princessy things. To-do list, and we've got a Rapunzel tracker for pain. Into a calendar view, back to the calendar view. So clearly the other one wasn't working. Lots of stickers. Big tracker for that one. Very big tracker. I wonder what happened to that washi tape. I've not seen that one before. And lots more stickers. Kind of pastel shades. And here's my birthday. Lots of more Disney things and shininess and gold. And back into plain boxes. That's a different kind of weekly tracker. I've not seen that before. Oh, these are stickers. Cool. Simple trackers, must have been running out of time or had very little time to do all of this journaling, hence the simplicity of the past couple of weeks or months maybe as we're moving into. Starting to plan a birthday for my son again here. His birthday is not until November and this is July by the way, so that kind of tells you the kind of person I am. Into, ah, here you go. So I stopped writing in July and then this is a a reloading page so I must have kicked back in again oh I didn't oh I'll have to look at the, no the next video and see what happened because this is supposed to be a forgiveness page so when you haven't been at your bujo for a few weeks or months then you put these pages in to explain it all and that's it that's what we done see you on the next one guys thanks for watching bye